It's already Sunday. I'm getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason it is a Saturday or Sunday, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's a clean introvert and also an intimate person in general, but there's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting each other occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning about more about her. I'm putting Yuri aside. I haven't heard a thing about Yuri since we left Cover the other day. Not that we text each other all the time, right? But I've been worried about it in the back of my mind. Because between what Siori said and what Monica said, it's really okay for me to put Siori's feeling inside of my evening. I decided to visit Siori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Siori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that I'm that what the fuck? <sighs> I need to read slower. Again. We used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. So Yori isn't anyone on the first floor, so I assume she's up in the room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Damn, but she must be really sad. I head up to her bedroom where I finally found find her. Found her. Where I finally find her. So Yori. Oh hi Vinny. I sat down. So Yori forces mom, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a moment, of, there's a minute of silence between us. A fucking angry bird? Bro. <laughs> is that a fucking angry bird? You're fucking angry, bro. Look at that shit. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? So your room is so messy. It's always been. I always recognize the same stuffed animals and water creatures she's had for years now. He <laughs> he. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I feel I end up cleaning it up for you. How come you suddenly want to come home today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Well, wait, how did you know that? So Yuri had already left by the time we decided to last week. <gasps> Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? That's true. What about you? Aren't you gonna help Monica? Yep, there's more signs between us. So he stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I just wanted to see how you're doing today. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you're too well. So, you smile, shaking your head. That's no good. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been so worried with me at all. At all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been. What the fuck? Oh my. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. Am I recording? Yeah. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. I grabbed the story, but so show you. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap. But. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? He he he. You're just gonna make me say that a lot, aren't you? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you come late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy? Oh fuck. When they're caring you know, to waste by having them spend it on me, that's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make happy everyone happy. <laughs> the fucked up part, I'm making fun of it. Without anyone worrying about me, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just not think about her? Why? Why is it that you've never told me about this? You almost feel like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could do. I'd have tried a little harder to make it every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. 
All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand. Why do you think I, I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about instead of doing worth more. Yes. I don't want to be cared about. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. As a, as a fire way of putting it. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Everyone Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get close to everyone else in the club. It was like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ha ha ha. You're right. That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. Ugh. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person is. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I mean, you joined a literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one. Fuck thinking. I want to grab, grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Then we hug this bitch. Vindotron. <laughs> I should date myself Vindotron. So Yori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm only happy that you can you convince me to join a club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If it, if I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I would have it any other way. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have it any other way. Vindotron. So Yori is hugging me back. This time my arms wrapped around so on the side. She starts sobbing. No, don't do this. Please don't do this. Barely managed to speak between herself. I don't know what's gonna. Oh, what the fuck? If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what it needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. Now, if it's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sir, so, generally, so are we. Finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's really all scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. What a fucking angry bird. Sorry, lets me go. And she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I think that would be nice. Fuck someone. I thought someone was looking at me. Yeah. So he wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have the other plan. Maybe I should cast. No, don't. Please don't. If we did, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. I really least, do you want to come over and help? It would, it would be fun. To my surprise, she always shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of a hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright, I look forward to it. So now I make my character sound like a fucking retard. <laughs> I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I should be worrying much. I'm definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Isn't this what her- Isn't this Sayori's house? So as I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Ah, 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 thank goodness. Damn! Damn! Thank- Damn! The geek! God damn! That's crazy. We're a little early. I'm not a good person. Sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous. Nobody answered the doorbell. You could always have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. But uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. I'm still fucking like. I'm just like, like, it's just like, this isn't the same as this, I don't know. 
Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, this is our MC's hot oh, room. Got the books. The fucking early 2000s big ass fucking HD TV. You want the big ass back? Oh, bro, he got the fucking setup. I take you to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. I cleaned up before you came over, so it's very considerate of you to do. I know. If you really embarrassed, my room would be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, was in the process of opening a desk in your mind. Ah, I'm sorry. I was thinking for some reason. I was just facing out. It's fine. Well, this bitch is weird. Who the fuck, like... <laughs> I mean, I would do that. I'd open up my fucking friends shit just to fuck with them. But, like, it's just weird. I'll go with Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her heads... What? Oh my fuck. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Oh my god, which means a plan that you can help with decoration, other atmospheric enhancements, atmospheric enhancements, you know. <sighs> After cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to help provide. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? Yeah, bro, really fucking... I guess it's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's you. It's that's <laughs> the Captain Dicker. That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. No need to be anxious. You can relax. Relax. I brought some times. I brought some things for like this shit. I was gonna use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Here he rummages through a bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did. <laughs> so I had these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows and black paper and use the candles to light through another room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. So what do you think? Oh, this is a diffuser for essential oil. So I'm familiar with aromatherapy. Not familiar at all. Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors. God damn, bro. That's insane. It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch at the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins spurting through a small hole. Damn, you didn't even like... Ask if you can do that shit in bro's room. What if the motherfucker has like an allergy? What a mood is this one? It's a jasmine essential oil. Swing of Fallery. 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 I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more relaxation. It has your emotions and can help you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. You think it'll be perfect for sharing your poem. It sounds more suitable. But you, you seem to know a lot about this, or so just your opinion on it. I feel like this is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Yuri spots in the clearing and doing herself. She again reaches into the band, pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the work? How many people asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We, we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll need. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. Sharon. I'm gonna cut those pe- I'm gonna go in- Oh my fucking- I promise I'm- I can read, I just can't read aloud. Well, I'm going to cut paces- <laughs> I'm going to cut paces- Paces? Pieces? Paces? I'm gonna cut pieces? P I'm gonna- I'm- Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon. To hang from the doorway of the classroom. Well then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I doubt anyone's gonna watch this, I'll be honest. <laughs> the way I plan to make this is to just upload all the clips together, edit it slightly. 
to cut out like shit that just happens sometimes because like, I fucking be rambling. Uh, and just post like a five hour long video. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself trying to render that, but what's gonna fucking say? It'll also be, it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It might also attract some people to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Curry. Is that so? Well, I'm supposed I do get a little intense, as you would put it. You, you, you. <laughs> Your giggles, red cheeks. This is my wife, bro. Uh, Alright, it's just me or she's more relaxed when it's just the two of us. Or maybe it's a little, or maybe it's like something she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker. You can write any characters you want. I'll be once I finish cutting the ribbon. I can't be joking. Marie unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches it to her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle is like, ah, oh, she's one of those people. It's gently tinted blue. It's not ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Well, Barris, you really look so, what is it? You're going to think it's weird? You're whatever? I don't know if you're going to judge. To each own, you know? I promise you won't be weird out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. Uh huh. <laughs> I fucking caught it. I caught it. They're just so pretty. I just can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination. I fucking caught it, bro. The bitch is a weirdo. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. I just find out when I find it. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's one well, interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I don't think it's kind of. But I think kind of suits you. Suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Would you like to hold it? Sure. You're carefully handed the knife with the handle facing me. It's kind of dangerous. I take it. I don't know, facing him? Never mind. I <laughs> Fuck, I'm fucking having a fucking mental fucking breakdown. I take it and turn it in my house. It feels heavy and extremely solid. What do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point out with my index finger. Ouch. Ouch. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. You barely touched it at all. It's, I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It can cut your skin like it's paper. I should know that a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. You already take. No. Don't do what I think she's about to do. No, bro. You're squeamish. I'll go wash it off. Oh, fucking shit, bro. I fucking do it. Bro, what the fuck? What time is it? Bro. That's wild. I fucking called it. She's a... Bro. I feel a tongue curl around my finger. I startled and extinctly pull my hand back. Please forgive. I wasn't thinking. Let's save. This is fucking. Something happens. That's wild. I fucking called it. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I sure it's a little weird and took me by surprise, but I guess she's just trying to help. I think you're overreacting. I reminds you, I did, I did something like that before. I cut the fuck out of myself by accident in class. On the most like the most like mundane object. It was like fucking It was like this flint shit for like chemistry and like you're just supposed to like flick it and it makes a spark for like to, to ignite. We we're doing that because they were showing us how to use it. And I did it, but I don't know how I cut myself on it. And I was just sitting there just looking, oh fuck, I cut myself. I started telling the teacher I just sat there and they're like, Vince, what the fuck are you bleeding? And I was like, fuck. And I just started like sucking on my thumb. <laughs> I was sucking on my thumb because I didn't want the teacher to say shit and he looked at me like a weirdo because I was sucking on my thumb because I fucking bloody, but he knew the blood, so. <laughs> this might be a stupid thing, but I do it anyway. I have to get his hand. Don't follow along, bro. Go fuck. Bro, these fools are weird asses. Did you really just do that? Now we're even. That's so. 
You were just looking at me like I did something wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If it was not for this hood the judgment the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird. Yeah, we're fucking one of thoughts. Giggle shyly. You're calling me weird? I'm not responsible. To that. Where do you keep your bandages? Who the fuck that? Yeah. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted if we each, we each resume our respective activities. Uh, time passes. Time, it looks great. Good thank you coming up with this. Thanks. This is something I saw online. You ready to move on to the next test? Let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'll have to create a banner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Fetching. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. You're gonna do something weird. Putting them on a plate to catch any paint that she drops. I bring it back on Yuri? Yes? I can come to see Yuri quickly. Oh. Come on. I already know where this is going, bruh. I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. She's like, she's cutting. I already, I can already tell where this is going. Your face is a little red. You too hot in here or anything? No, not at all. There's nothing wrong. So that's mixed up. I'm gonna look up something. It's fucking jasmine. It, am I right to think that jasmine shit is fucking? <laughs> jasmine oil is best known as an aphrodisiac. So I called it. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tables, dropping them into the cup. So. I thought we could, we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a, a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset at nighttime. Once it dries, write an inspirational quote across the banner. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, we won't want to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling up the banner, Yuri. So this is always open. Yuri and I neon on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Here's the brush. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects. We did back then. It's relaxing. It feels too childish. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's fun. I feel that way. You stop painting for a moment thinking to yourself. For me, I don't need to go on and do crazy stuff. Like in fact, I, don't even, I usually don't even want to. She's one of those people. Even something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel like a nice... I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Even even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel the same way. I feel that way about things like anime and games or simply sharing an experience with someone can make me happy. I think I, can, I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles. I know you understand. I'm gonna un I, but I moved to say I can't cause my head to bump into hers. What an anime trope. You rose back and quickly lift my hand. I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? I'm not hurt. I just startled, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it from me. Fucking freak is killing me. <sighs> there are droplets of paint on you. <laughs> How do you get fuck? How? How the fuck did you get paint on me? I tell right away. I rush out and I happen to a hot water. I turn the room and they went back in front of her. <laughs> It's just, it looks fucking stupid, bruh. <laughs> oh, bro, I don't know what fear. I pat down Yuri's face with a, a neck with a towel. I, I don't get how the fuck you got paint on there still, bruh. I really don't understand. Ah, uh, something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Let me finish. I started with Chapman Hammer. Yuri said, one more just for a little longer. It's weird. It feels really nice. She looks into my eyes. <laughs> the way they slowly open is just funny. Wait, look how long her eyelashes are on this one. Like it goes like on her hair. But look how short it is on this one. 
If she's lost in a daze and well of my own thoughts, she breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the gentle oil giving me this dizzy? Yeah, it's an aphrodisiac. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sent a tingly sensation to my arm. Suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to squeeze out. It's fine. The moment is over, I guess, as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsy and like she's unable to focus. Mm hmm. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush, continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished feeling a nice guy with white dots look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you planning? Are you going to add the lettering now? Nah. You should dry. That's true. Won't that take a while? Perhaps it'll be best to leave it here then. You have to bring it in the morning. I, I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Uh huh. You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least controlling yourself a bit? I'm just glad that we're about to get everything done. I see. It's time to get dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? So you're hoping we would have an extra time after finishing the work? Well, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. But my fault. Sorry, Mr. Just a slow worker. Uh huh. I should be. I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really gets opportunities to tell with her friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time I can. I can. I can. I, can. I swear to God, I, I'm not special. I can read. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Let me know. I will. Hold on. Are you fidget? I guess I'll see my weight. I kind of say that without thinking about today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Maybe we do this again. Whenever you want, you can go on, you can go on something. I forgot you don't like going on much. As I stumble over words, you smile bashfully. Anyway. Man, bro, that's fucking nice save. You know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful. And briefly squeezes my hand. <laughs> this bitch is. The music stopped. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to make fun of this? I don't even have a chance. As you suddenly pulls back. Bruh, this bitch came out of nowhere. Hi, Vindeltron. I should have named myself Vindeltron. Uh, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But well, today I just want to go shopping. Oh, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed. Yuri, hurry up. Yeah. <sighs> I thought you didn't want to come over today. Well, well, I tried to see my room, but my imagination has really been mean to me. So I came over. I came here to see for myself. Do what? What are you talking about? You know? How much fun you had. Uh, this is all weird, though. Makes me really happy that you had. They're all fucking weird ass people, bro. Uh, that's all that matters to me. Tears start to <laughs> Bro, I hate this bitch. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling like this? Am I supposed to be happy for you? Why does it feel like my heart is bleeding in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. That would be so much better if I could just disappear. It's true, Vendotron. If I wasn't here. <laughs> <sighs> you wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just. <laughs> you should have what? Monica was right about what? <laughs> what is, what's, funny, what's happening? I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making you. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't have trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I wanna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. So he looks away. I put a hand on his shoulder to reassure. I'm scared, Vendotron. <laughs> I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. True, sure, isn't it? I was weak and started liking you too much. I did this to myself. I want to die. And that's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I send my hand down so you always want to squeeze her hand in my own. 
after I always said I always know what's best for you, do you still believe me? Wordlessly, even if you don't understand all your feelings, I know what you need to do the most right now. That's what I'm gonna give you. That's what happened. <laughs> oh fuck! We could curve the hoe. Oh, we could be. Oh fuck! <laughs> that's wild! Bro, that's wild, bro. We can curve the hoe or we can tell her I love, bro. Fuck. That's wild. That's wild, bro. We could curve the hoe. That's an insane choice. Bro, I don't know what to choose. What a... I think the childhood friend never wins. Always my dearest friend. What you need is most of the things like that have always been. Want to come to you? She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I said there's some re really difficult feelings. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch just got curved. That's insane. What? Damn. This bitch got friends. What the fuck? Well, let's, let's save again. I wanna see what happens if I choose her. Oh, what the fuck? This is, this is the wrong one. Making new friends and having fun with you every day. You always realize that. You are truly the most important person. That's why I accept any of your burdens as long as we get to you like this every day. Bingo Tron. <laughs> what the fuck does our character looks? This is this is funny as fuck. I'm gonna use this as a this is like a possible thumb. Did I even save? Did I save that? I wanna use as a thumb yeah, 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 I'm gonna use that shit as a fucking thumbnail. It's the funniest shit ever. Vindotron, is that really okay? Yeah, I thought I would see you in my heart a little closer. You will never have to let go of me again. I love you, Vindotron. What is this? I'm supposed to be happy right now, but I always thought it would be the happiest thing for a while. Even now, well, I want to be cluttered away. They're not going away at all. What about Yuri, bro? So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our final, our first date. Let's save it, uh, here. Hee hee hee, what do you say? You don't have to think about it, I, I don't know if this is always been. Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle anything more than right now. I understand. Well, go ahead, I would have faced you to this. Hey, Vindotron. Even if I get really sad, it, it, this is the best thing for me, right? I don't really understand what means, but uh, you're saying that it doesn't make you feel sad. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. That's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Yori. She loves me, but I'm having as much trouble with the sense Yori she, she is. Even though I do come for her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. 
remember when I wanted anything to change. I don't know, but I know that I'll give her every. <laughs> Damn. It's the day of the festival. Let's save. Uh, let's overwrite this one. I want to load in the one where she fucking like runs away, killing herself. So Yori, she doesn't have to why my scene is horrible, but there's nothing more that I could do, or I could have done. Yeah, she's, she's being a widow. If I could cover her, I keep wondering if if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to play me until things are, I want to give it everything I've got. My dearest friend, I'm whatever it takes to put a spot on her face. Look how oblivious they are. I could just go to your house to wake you up, but that's the side of the road for much. Meanwhile, the preparation of the vanish shoot could be nearly complete. The banner of Yuri and I painted it dry and I gently wore it over the table with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. I probably felt the same. What the fuck? Fun enough, I probably felt the same way as Natsuki was putting the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Yuri and Yuri at the festival. Knowing Monica, I'm pretty sure the event will be great too. Wait, let's save. I want to see if the. So this is obviously a game that has like multiple endings and shit. Should be it. Then go try and this one here. Thanks for being early. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Then go try and get this one here. Thanks for being early. It's funny. I, at least I thought you were be here by now. Monica's place a little book. Starting to that's a kind of blah blah blah. I only said it because she took a little responsibility. I mean, especially after your experience with what? I was probably too tiny, but. Exchange. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. Alright, so this is the time. What have I do? Save. It's kind of hard to like. How do you know about that? Of course I do. I'm gonna cover it all, but just want to tell her about it that clue that we're a couple now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, our two timelines. One where the friend gets rejected, the childhood best friend. Uh, oh, yeah, I should do it on a different page so I don't get confused actually. Yeah, so the one where the childhood best friend gets rejected, and this is the one where she doesn't get rejected. Oh, this is the one where she does get rejected. You probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, oh, I figured out the pamphlets. They came out really nice. Sure. It really good. Something like this will definitely help people take this a little more seriously. I thought so, too. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page. Professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poem from the ones they performed during our practice. It's different from the ones she practiced. It's the one I haven't read before. <laughs> Get out of before. Oh, fuck. That's funny. 
get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to, care, listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. I, before I finish writing this poem, but the poem never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh, bro, I want to see this now. Oh, is this, is this the same one? This bitch is just crazy. And no drawing, what's wrong? Damn. Well, I don't know what's wrong, nothing. It's more, no fucking music. Actually, my mind, I'm going to get Siori, so. Uh, well, all right. Because of the classroom, don't strain yourself. Why do that after me? I quickly my pace. Why is there no music? What was I thinking? Nah, I fucking... Thank God, bro. The music fucking annoys me. Uh, it's not a big deal. Well, at least wait for her to help her wake up. Even the simplest gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. I want, I want to give her. I reached the always house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Why waking her up in her own house? Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, I still just so outside the room. I'm knocking the door. So Yori, no response. I really didn't have to. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Then it kind of breach of privacy, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. It's <laughs> 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 insane. Da 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 da. <laughs> My fucking god. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. The music's fire. <laughs> this isn't real. There's no way this could be real. Finally, some shit's happened. It's been hours. 